right, so we're going to be on day 15 uh, doing some drills with Tex here. I am. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just trying to get him to really relax all his skin. Um, just let him feel all over. So, I'm just going to lay across him and uh, pet both sides of him, rub underneath, getting his flanks down his legs, underneath his belly, um, and just kind of let him feel the connection with me. So, um, just letting him feel my heartbeat, my breathing, and let him kind of relax all over. nervous in his flank right here when I try to do both hands at the same time no pressure there so we're gonna kind of focus on this little little hot spot right here Let him know that his flanks are okay. He was okay with the far side. It's when both hands come down at the same time like that. Just draw it up a little bit.
So he's relaxing now good in between his, on his flanks there on both sides. Just keep working that drill, um, rubbing all over him, laying across him, put my weight on him until I feel like every hot spot in his body is relaxed out, and then I'll be able to go ahead and start riding him bareback. Um, doesn't use once you get all those hot spots worked out to where it doesn't matter where you touch, um, then it's pretty easy after that. So what you got to do right now, um, like I said, I'll just do this for a couple days. I'll just before I saddle him up, I'll just rub all over him. Touch him everywhere, go everywhere, let him get used to it, let him think about it, let him chill out. I got him a little food sitting up here where he can relax and eat if he wants to. And uh, just a day or two, he'll he'll be riding around. He'll let me get on him bareback and stuff and be relaxed about it. What I don't want to do is get on there where he still has hot spots. And, and so I'm up there and I think, oh, well, he's good right here because he's kind of used to where the saddle goes. And then you get off balance or something while you're riding or, you know, you jump a ditch or something bareback or, and he's really narrow. He's a narrow made mule. So you get tilted and you have to reach underneath with your, with your foot or something to hold on or, or balance. And then uh, you hit a hot spot and they, they, you set yourself back. So um, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to get it to where he's, where, where his whole skin is relaxed no matter where I touch it. Then we'll, we'll go on there because he's not going to be one that gets rode bareback a lot because he's so narrow. Um, it would be really uncomfortable on his withers and stuff for sure. He's really a uh, donkey framed, A-frame slab sided top mule. So um, it's not like a big, you know, it's not like casino or something where they're real big and comfortable like a horse. So if he gets rolled bareback, it'll be just part of training or your saddle broke. I don't believe anybody would want to do it for fun. So not no man anyway. All right, see y'all.